The FDA has approved the opioid overdose reversal drug Narcan be sold over the counter without a prescription. Fox 43's Harry Lee talks to addiction specialists about the impact of increased access and the barriers that still remain in place. Opioid overdose deaths have skyrocketed in recent years, killing more than 100,000 people in 2021. Now one life-saving option is a little more in reach. After the FDA approved Narcan to be sold over the counter in drugstores, gas stations, and even online. I think we're universally in favor of it. Certainly increasing access to naloxone will help to reduce stigma. Addiction specialists and outreach groups encourage opioid users and their friends and family to carry Narcan. Philadelphia-based organization Prevention Point has distributed more than 61,000 doses in the last six months. They wrote in a statement, over-the-counter Narcan can reach even more people than community-based nonprofits like Prevention Point. The most important thing is to have low barriers to access for anyone who wants to save a life. Yet barriers remain. The biggest is cost, which averages $130 without insurance. Compare that to the street price of one dose of fentanyl, as little as $2, according to the UN Office on Drugs and Crime. There's many people right now that are getting naloxone free of charge from programs. So we want that option to remain open. We would hope that this, you know, is about broadening access, not like shifting access so that some people now end up with more access than others. Emergent Biosolutions, the company that makes Narcan, says it hopes to make the nasal spray available on store shelves by late summer. The over-the-counter version will be packaged in a larger box with detailed instructions. Addiction specialists say while greater access to Narcan is good, the drug is only the first step to ending the opioid crisis. Narcan is the treatment for an overdose, but it's not the treatment for the substance use disorder that led to the overdose. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.